Hey yo, what is going on today guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video man We are sitting in this BMW M3 man E36 and we're gonna be going through all of the brand new sections within Horizon 5 man Which I have made myself So hopefully you guys will enjoy this video if you did be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button man And I shall catch you guys after the intro All right, man. So the very first course that we have here is in Guanajuato, and I will show you guys the map location here in a minute. But it's got a nice set of corners in this thing, man. Obviously, low horsepower is going to be best for this sort of track. However, I do recommend around 400 to 450 horsepower, um, as some of these corners are pretty long. Uh, especially this one right here coming into it you might hit the curb and then your car might want to spin out a little bit but it's still pretty nice man nice and smooth coming down into the underground part of this section obviously you want to have a little bit more horsepower coming around this area right here because it's a long sweeping corner um, only obviously to finish off right here on the left coming back through obviously the drawing getting a little bit caught there but it's all good Coming on the left here, all the way up, nice and thin through here as well. It's sort of quite, uh, it's quite hard to get through there. Clean, but then you come back up and around. Obviously, hitting the last hairpin there to finish off your run right next to this photo. But yeah, now let's go ahead now and uh, check it out on the map. So um, as of right now, obviously, like I said, I am in Guanajuato right now, so it is right here on the map right next to a speed trap if you have the speed trap unlocked it is right up here uh literally right behind me um but yeah no that is where it is on the map obviously for location wise let's go ahead now and jump straight into the run Alright man, so moving on now to the brand new parking lot section that we have here in Horizon 5. It's not the best, it really isn't. It's not It's not all that in a bag of chips, but we've still got it. You know, it's still here, we still can run a decent section on it. Um, now just a quick little, um, quick little update on the car. You know I said 450 horsepower last time. This thing actually has only got 350 horsepower in it. Um, and it ran that course pretty damn smoothly, man. So I was actually quite surprised that the little E36 here ran that course pretty well. So, um, yeah, about 350 to 400 horsepower, I reckon, should run that course absolutely fine. Obviously, with this car only having to straight up there on the um, second to last corner, it was pretty good, man. You know, it ran pretty smoothly. But anyway, moving on to now uh, this course right here. We're going to have hit up a massive straight along here into the second way in on the uh, car park area. And then what you're going to hit is you're going to hit a nice long sweeper right there. Come all the way through up towards the end. For this section though, for these sections, you really have got to try not to hit the poles in the middle. Because they're obviously the things that are stapling it together and making it work, man. So, uh, coming after coming through there, man, you got to come through the middle here. Going all the way wide, all the way wide around here. Obviously around that little pole right there. Going into this little box area. And then cutting off around this bit. And then hitting into the middle section once again to come out onto the road. So yeah, that is a nice little small little open section there, obviously going the second one first and then when you come back through, it is the first little opening. So yeah, let's go ahead now and hit it.
All right, man. So just quickly there, I forgot to mention that this is this car parking area, but right beside the stadium here, there is the infected game mode, uh, literally right on top of me right here, and it is that literally that left sort of car park, car parking area right there, man. Obviously, you can do this any you know whichever one you want to. They're all exactly the same. So whatever you know, whatever floats your boat, man. Wherever you want to feel. Uh, wherever you feel comfortable basically that is where we shall be drifting all right man so this next one i didn't think was actually going to be possible but we have got the uh a section it, within the street scene area it's pretty good man pretty gnarly i do like it if i do say so myself it's very smooth to run especially with low horsepower and all that sort of thing so like i say without further ado man you guys already know where the street scene is i'm gonna go ahead and show it on the map though anyway right after we go through obviously the section so you start off here within the corner um, of the track right there, obviously going out onto the road and you come all the way through here man, right in between these two pink areas here, cutting across here, obviously clipping this pink area here, go towards the front of the festival all the way over to this far corner. Then you hit those cones right there coming back through again you want to cut this little corner here with the back bumper being on that other pink piece and then you can come all the way over here to hit that wall ride or that wall tap coming around obviously this little circular area right here and then what you want to do is is you want to come back around through here this little part right here into obviously another loop hitting that uh, back bumper there on that pink piece and then hitting it right back obviously to the start so yeah, that is pretty much it on that. Let's go ahead now and show the map real quick so you guys know exactly where, we're at, where we are on the map. Which is right here, as you can see, over the four-leaf clover sort of drift area. Uh, we have got the street scene area right here. But obviously, just bear in mind, man, if you guys haven't unlocked the street scene area, you will not be able to do this um, section. Obviously, with the boys or without the boys, whatever the case may be. But everyone needs to unlock the street scene sections. That way you get this um, section unlocked, man. But anyway, without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump straight into the drifting. Alright man, you guys heard me say it just a second ago, the four leaf clover right here on the start of the highway man is absolutely insane for sliding, uh, it's very cool to slide, obviously this one yet again with a little bit more horsepower you should be able to slide the whole thing, I'm not too sure how well I'm going to be able to do in my little 350 horsepower beamer. Uh, but as you guys can see man, it is quite a nice little uh, section that you can loop around with obviously just two loops man Obviously if you wanted to do all four it will obviously require you to cut across the highway here um, Which you probably could do you could probably cut across this little piece right here man and then obviously cut it uh, Monji and then go back down this way, but um, that's completely up to you guys man. Obviously this guy absolutely sending it through here Yep, no nope. Thanos clicked his fingers and he disappeared. But anyway um, yeah, that is pretty much it man for that. Obviously you guys know I did mention this earlier on the map So obviously obviously you guys can see the street scene over there man So it's literally just up the road, so I'm not gonna bother mentioning that on the map So let's go ahead and jump straight into the drifting So guys, with this section, man, obviously, um, 
yeah, I've, I've mentioned it in a recent video before. Um, I can't remember what it, which uh, video it was for. It might have been for the SE300 build. It might have been for that, actually. Um, this course that uh, we we're about to run right here isn't one of my courses. I got shown this by uh, a person called Inspired on the stream, and he learned it from somewhere else, which I still can't remember the name of. So my apologies if that dude does actually end up watching this video. Be sure to drop that comment down below if you did actually make this track. That'd be lit. Um, I can sort of remember what your name is, so I will know, you know, if people are lying, I will know. <laughs> but yeah, no. Um, like I say, hopefully you guys will enjoy this track, but like I say, right from the start, man, this track is absolutely insane. Definitely one of the first tracks here that I managed to get some tandies on. But uh, check this out right here. Nice little open area right here to come back through into this middle section. Nice wide, nice wide sort of open area right here to cut us back through into Mexico right here. Obviously coming back through into the figure of eight type section right here. Going across the H for Horizon Festival and then Monji and straight over to this side. Past the main stage, all the way past the crowd right here. Past the hub. Coming through into the middle of, yet again, the Horizon logo. And then switching it back around past the drag strip right here. All the way around past the drag strip. Back through the Horizon logo once again. Coming into another left. Back through this area where it says Horizon Mexico. Coming all the way back through once again. Past the H into, obviously, right past the festival area towards the outside of the festival and then hitting this road right here obviously that is where we cut off for our low horsepower tandem builds and all that sort of stuff but if you guys have got enough horsepower then you guys will obviously be able to rip this around here as well to so come all the way around nice little bend right here to rip it around also as well man and then coming back to the start which is right down here where the beamer is sitting man obviously again i'm not going to show this area off because you guys already know where this area is man this is the horizon festival man so you guys will be able to know uh exactly where this is man so let's go ahead once again and jump straight into the drifting So guys, here we are again at a brand new section. Well, I say a brand new section. I have actually used this section in a video. Uh, one of my most recent videos, man, you guys would have seen this section, man. It is absolutely insane with the mountain in the background. You guys can see that. And obviously, this is one of the uh, newest, I should say, actually. One of the newest sections I have made recently. And I absolutely love it, man. This, this is absolutely insane. But anyway, without further ado, bro, let's go ahead now and jump straight into it. Obviously, you start right here. Here, right at the end of the bridge over there and he come kicking it all the way down straight into this first corner right here into the nice little s bends that we got going on at the very first sort of town slash city area that you guys come across in horizon 5 man that's going to cut you back all the way into this uphill sort of slope right here which is going to hit a right once again and then you're going to hit a left all the way around here man nice a little open area there want to get close to that other side of the curb 
again all the way around here pretty wide through here if you guys want to be sure to get rid of the uh donut slash vegetable carts right here man just bump them out of the way so get them out of the way but then you come straight through there another hook all the way around here and then you cut all the way through the middle of the market again coming back through into the finish but anyway guys that is pretty much that that's now for the map for the map on where it is man you guys will be able to see it is not too far away from the festival also here's the festival right here here's the very first house that you guys get man so you guys already know where it is man this is right here right on the edge nice little uh drift area right here too if you guys are a fan of ucxt man you guys would have seen that they've hit a insane jump drift section right here which is very cool as well but obviously go check them out if to see that sort of section um but yeah right here man awesome brand new section bro it looks awesome it feels awesome to slide on and also tandems feel great on it as well man but without further ado let's go ahead and jump straight into the drifting Alright guys, so here we are at the other end of the map now in the rainforest. You guys would have seen this track also in a recent video, man. This track is absolutely insane. Very short, but very nice nonetheless, man. But anyway, coming straight off the bat here, we are kicking it out very very fast down here and then hitting a max angle into the very first corner here which goes straight into this under passage right here and then cuts into this area then moves all the way out which is sort of like a figure eight type section right here goes all the way all the way around you want to be able to clip that little side right there and then come in uh, to the middle section once again man and then all the way out nice and wide to obviously finish up the section but um, real quick though I would just want to mention there is a couple of invisible barriers right here man as you can see I did uh, hit them uh, come actually coming into the section but right here there seems to be some sort of invisible barrier that you can't get past or drive through or do something with so uh, just so you guys know about that there is a invisible barrier right there man but anyway in terms of where it is on the map guys we're gonna go ahead and check that out right now which it is like I said right in the middle of the rainforest right here is the temple area which you come to obviously do the apex um, apex uh, adventure type thing uh, it's right here right in the middle obviously you can just teleport right there and then make your way up to up through the ramp which is literally just on your left as you spawn in left or right actually as you spawn in um, and then you can make your way up to where we are right now but yeah that is pretty much it where it is uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that little track let's go ahead now and jump straight into the drifting Alright guys, so this is probably one of the last tracks here um, until we get to obviously the honorable mentions man But this is the last final track uh, that I kind of wish there was more to it man I was kind of wish there was more to it. This is at the hotel area um, But yeah, it's pretty much a nice little downslope into a hairpin 
and then cuts back into yet another hairpin obviously then going up the hill which is quite a bit of a stretch for the low horsepower cars man and then cutting into this sort of dining area uh, which you probably make a mess of things inside of there and then uh, coming back up the hill obviously to the finish um, There's not really much to it man I kind of wish that, that we could use like this area maybe but it's just not it just doesn't really flow very well And uh, yeah, I don't know man. It's just it's just not I just kind of wish there was more to it You know what I mean? I wish there was more to it that we could do more uh, Stuff with it. Maybe there would be like a hole in the in the you know in the in the hotel where we could go through but unfortunately that's not the case so um, yeah it's a bit unfortunate there but anyway on the map as I'm getting a little bit sidetracked here on the map we are as of right here which is right in the bottom left of the map here obviously from the festival you're literally straight on from the festival straight obviously into this nice sort of luxurious hotel area uh, which is right next to the golf courses man obviously as well you know if there is a sandstorm kicking about I don't think that the it does actually reach to the hotels I might be wrong um, but I'm not 100% sure on that one but still it's still a pretty good section to obviously if you are learning how to drift and everything like that man or learning how to tandem it is quite a nice little set of corners that you guys can mess about with on the online space and all that good stuff man so obviously without further ado let's go ahead now and jump straight onto the drifting Alright guys, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed obviously the main tracks that I have found and created here on the uh, Horizon 5 game and hopefully you guys have all enjoyed those tracks. Um, obviously, you know... <laughs> there are plenty of people making tracks out there so if any of these tracks are the same as something you've seen before don't get upset at me in the comments this I like I say I have um, I'm pretty late with this video coming out man so like I say it is what it is but without further ado bros let's go ahead and get on to the honorable mentions and these honorable mentions are literally just sort of um, world made sort of tracks so these are all the tracks within the game world that are sort of roads and stuff like that man so these are like I said honorable mentions within the game world man which are pretty damn sweet but anyway our first one is exactly right here very it looks very cool from the start man nice downhill sort of area to start us off which then cuts into a nice sort of big hairpin coming down the hill even a bit more and then you go down a little bit further right here and straight across across this crossroad which then hits you into yet another downhill section man straight down the hill into another little area right here and then finishing it on the bridge man which a nice m4 has just appeared bro look at that but anyway on the map right here guys i'm going to be able to show you guys the map uh, is on the map right here we have obviously like i was saying telling you guys i'm actually Oh, I just shown you guys the wrong section. <laughs> oh, oh, lovely. Oh, I love the servers. They're so good. Anyway, um, you guys have obviously just seen that I had shown you the wrong section, man. It was uh, that way when actually we're trying to go up this way. Um, <laughs> so if you guys haven't already seen, man, it is a drift zone area so if you guys like drift zone areas this is a an amazing track man obviously which you can carry on down the hill where i've just shown you guys um but yeah now this is the actual track that i want to show you guys this is absolutely sick coming up here and also the downhill section of this is absolutely insane but we have some nice little tight hairpins on the edge of these as well look at this nice little tight hairpin up the top here obviously a little straight there before that hairpin which is a nice little monji section right here which comes into a nice straight in into yet another hairpin right at the top which is absolutely lush as well man obviously if you guys are into the toe racing sort of things you guys will know 
that I will be putting a few of those together very shortly soon as well, man. But coming in here, that is the final part of the section. Just coming back around to this area here. Obviously, if you want to carry on, you're more than welcome to go all the way up to the bridge, which is correctly right here. I suppose, actually, this is quite a nice little area right here too, man. And then goes into the stretch, which you could probably park right here. So if you guys want to go all the way further up, a bit further than what I have said, man, you're more than welcome to. But obviously, on the map, this time, the proper map, I should say. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and jump straight into that. There we go. So we obviously managed to make it all the way down to here, man. Or if it, actually, no, it was all the way down to over here, wasn't it? I was somewhere. But anyway, um, you guys already seen it, man. Obviously, they've got some nice little looking hairpins and stuff there, obviously, which you can obviously then go down the hill into yet another few pretty cool hairpins down there. But obviously, this is sort of the main area that I was trying to focus on. Um, but yeah, know, it's a very cool section, man, that you guys must obviously try and try out. It obviously has a few more, uh, more looking, nice looking sections coming off of that as well. Obviously, you can hit a left right here to go down into this area if you wanted to. But obviously, it's for you guys to customize and try out for yourselves, man. Obviously, I do probably recommend a little bit more horsepower than what... Um, like I am currently running which is the 350 I would recommend a little bit more than that man but without further ado let's go ahead now and jump straight into the drifting All right, guys. So right here, man, as you guys are seeing from the other uh, section I've just shown you guys, it, this car definitely is struggling on these open road sort of areas. So without, you know, a little bit more horsepower, you won't probably struggle as much. Like, say, around 400, 450, you should be pretty solid. But anyway... Moving on from that, man, this little section right here is a sort of a bit of a weird one because uh, before I start showing you guys in the drone mode here, I just want to go ahead and check out the map real quick because um, this definitely bamboozled me a little bit. Right here, it says that this is all a road, like a tarmac sort of road, no uh, dirt on this whatsoever, but however, you know, be advised, man, this is all a tarmac, yeah, it's not tarmac at all, this is all a dirt road, which, uh, you know, really, really really upset me man because I was like this road is about to be lit man it's about to be so good it's about to be really cool it's about to be a really nice sort of road to slide on all that sort of stuff but actually no it is a dirt road so that's a bit unfortunate man from obviously the turn 10 vevs uh, absolutely uh, messing us up there with that sort of section however we do have this area right here which once again man is pretty damn nice for the extra little 450 horsepower sort of type builds that you guys may or may not have man it's very nice indeed but anyway let's go ahead now and jump straight into obviously checking out the section here we've got a nice little open sort of nice little bend right there coming into yet another one coming into a hairpin which is nice and smooth i might add nice and smooth little hairpin over obviously into a straight into yet another bend which by the way the view is absolutely amazing on this track Coming in once again though, uh, a little bit of a straight uh, coming into this other little bend right here, which is a bit of a pain if you have got low horsepower cars. Same with that little stretch right there coming into that bend there as well. 
moving around into obviously yet another bend and to another straight which again is quite annoying for those slow horsepower cars man but obviously you guys already know man we've seen plenty of other tracks for you guys to run that are running the same sort of horsepower as what I do but obviously if you want to run a little bit more horsepower man these tracks are definitely for you man but obviously you guys have now seen come all the way back to the start which is a nice little loop around man but anyway let's go ahead now and jump straight into the drifting So for our last track on the list, man, honorable mention list, I should say, um, obviously you guys already know, man, it's got to be the mountain, the whole mountain section, man, you guys already know, uh, if you, you, I mean, how can you not know, let's be honest, like, this mountain is absolutely insane and is a blast to drift on and also tow grace on, man, so you guys absolutely, uh, 100% know of this already so there's no need for me to run this uh, run this mountain from top to bottom and there is literally no need for me to run it in the drone mode well however like you say man just for you guys who don't know if you have no idea where this is I'm just gonna show you guys where we are at at the moment obviously uh, on the map here we go as a, a reference to where the festival is here's the festival we're literally straight up from the festival and boom there is your massive mountain um, for obviously drifting, tow racing, whatever you guys want to run on here. But obviously you guys can see, man, that there are plenty of people drifting or even tow racing on the mountain already, man. So like I say, uh, hopefully you guys all enjoyed that mountain um, and some of the other sections that we have shown off here today. But obviously, man, you know... Hopefully, more importantly, you enjoy some of the custom sections that I have created uh, within Horizon 5, man. Hopefully, this video has helped you out as well. If it did, be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button, man, if you guys haven't already. I'm getting very close to 1,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane. So, hopefully, you guys can push, help me push it over the threshold, man, uh, with these awesome drift sections. Now, um... Just a quick mention as well, obviously, the custom drift sections that you can make within Events Lab, man. I'm also going to be dropping a video on those as well, as I have created two of those now, and they are absolutely lit as well, man. But obviously, I just want to make sure that I can um, get the way of which you can do that and do a video on that first before I obviously then post it. Uh, so that way, you guys can definitely try them out, build them yourselves, man, and obviously go from there. But obviously, thank you guys all for watching this video like i said before if you guys haven't already be sure to hit that like button and the subscribe button man and i shall hopefully catch you guys in the next one take care peace